Uh, first of all, I want to thank Pastor for allowing me another opportunity to come before you and to deliver what I feel that God has placed on my heart. And I would also like to wish all the mothers a happy Mother's Day. Woo! Um, well, let us pray. Lord Jesus, we thank you for today, Lord Jesus. We thank you for everything you've done today, Lord Jesus. We ask that you move in this place today, Lord Jesus. We ask that somebody receives the new birth salvation today, Lord Jesus. We ask that your perfect will be done, O Lord Jesus. Of myself, I can do nothing. It's you that doeth the work. And above all, let your perfect will be done. In Jesus' name, you may be seated in the presence of God. Uh, if I could put a title on this, I would have to title this, The Liberator is in this house. And the opening verse, if you have your Bibles, is I'm coming from Romans chapter 5 and verse 19. For as, many, for as by one man's disobedience, many were made sinners, so by the obedience of one shall many be made righteous. Amen. Well, when you're born, you receive a prison sentence. Amen. And when we are born, we are bound by sin and Satan is our warden while we are in this prison. And while you're in this prison, you can't wait to be released. Amen. As a matter of fact, you can't even get out on good behavior because Ephesians 2 a 9 says, For by grace you are saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. The only way to get out of this prison is to be exonerated. Exonerated means from the Merriam-Webster Dictionary to relieve a responsibility, obligation, or hardship. To clear from accusation or blame. Amen. Amen. So the only way you'll be able to get out of this prison is through exoneration. Amen. And the only way to get out of this prison, you're going to need some blood. Amen. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 3 through 4. Even so, when we were children, we were in bondage under the elements of this world. But when the fullness of time was come, God sent forth his son, made of a woman, made under the law. Amen. Okay, God sent his son. And in Luke chapter 4 and verse 18, Jesus said these words, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He hath sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to preach deliverance to the captives, and recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, and to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And I, like I said, you're going to need some blood to get up out of this prison. Romans, 6, cha Romans chapter 6, 3 through 5 says, Know you not that so many of us as are baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death. Therefore, we are buried with him by baptism into death, that like also as Christ raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we should always walk in the newness of life. I'm preaching from the Bible, so I believe somebody up in here should be excited about your liberation. Amen. For we have been planted together in likeness of his death. We shall also walk, we shall also be also in the likeness of his resurrection. Amen. Amen. So when you're getting up out of his prison, we must be conformed to his death, his burial, and his resurrection. And how you are conformed to his death, burial, and resurrection in order to make this exoneration complete. Peter preached the message in Acts chapter 2. He said, and Peter said unto them, repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Amen. Revelation chapter 5. Amen. John was on the Isle of Patmos. The Bible says. And uh, there were many around the throne. And uh, verse 12 says, saying with a loud voice, oh, uh, excuse me, I saw a strong angel proclaiming with a loud voice, who is worthy to open up this book and to loose the seals thereof. And no man in heaven nor on earth, neither under the earth, was able to, to open this book. And the Bible says that John wept much. Amen. And one of the elders said unto me, Weep not. Behold, the line of the tribe of Judah, the root of David, hath prevailed to open the book and to loose the seals 
thereof. Amen. And when this happened, they sung a new song. I don't know whether they sung it in gospel or I don't know how they sung it, but it goes like this. And they sung a new song saying, Thou art worthy to take the book and to open the seals thereof, for thou wast slain and hast redeemed us by the blood out of every creature and tongue and people and every nation, and has made us unto our God kings and priests, and we shall reign on the earth. I come to tell somebody in this house today that the same Jesus that is worthy enough to loose those seals on that book is the same Jesus that's worthy enough to loose you from fear, loose you from sickness, loose you from any disease, because the liberator is in this house in Jesus' name.